Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. Today we wanted to show you how to make a habit tracker with step-by-step -step instructions. So first you want to just open a Notion page and choose empty page with icon. Then let's change the icon, in this case for habit tracker. Um, I think the check mark looks nice. And then we have to title the habit tracker. Habit tracker. Then let's add a cover photo. So these days we've been really enjoying cloud photos. So let's go for clouds. And then reposition it. And also for Notion pages, we really like to do uh, small text with wide uh, full width. So you can go ahead and click those if you'd like. This way you can fit more things into the whole Notion page. So when making a habit tracker, the first thing we need to think about is what habits do we want to track? So for this, let's go ahead and make a call out box. To make a call out box, you can type slash call out. And then we have to choose the icon again. And for this one, maybe the square checkbox. And let's put habits this month. And this usually looks better when you bold it. And now we want to add a line under here. And for that, you need to press shift plus return. And then let's make a bullet point, so slash bullet. And for some reason, Notion makes the bullet go outside the call-out box, so just move it back. And in this case, we're going to be making a habit tracker with three habits to track. So let's duplicate this, and the keyboard shortcut for that is uh, Command-D. So, Command-D, Command-D. And now let's think of the habits to track this month. So lately, uh, I've been wanting to um, get in more physical exercise. So let's go ahead and put running 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day. And then another one might be to meditate five minutes a day, date five minutes a day. And then the last one is that I want to reduce screen time before bed. So that will be the last habit. So no screen time before bed. Great. Now the next thing that would be nice to add for our habit tracker is some text that helps us motivate uh, to keep up with the habits. So for that, let's make another call out box, press slash call out. And then we need another icon. So something eye catching for this, uh, for example, the exclamation point. And let's put why uh, track habits. So these are gonna be texts that you can look at while you're doing your habit tracker so you can keep up with your motivation. So same as the previous call box, let's add a line under by pressing shift and then return. And then add a bullet point with slash bullet. Put it back into the call out box and then control or command D to duplicate. Maybe we'll list three reasons why we want to track habits. So tracking habits are going to lead to positive change in daily life. Uh, it's going to improve our mental health. All three of these habits uh, also will have mental health impacts. Improve mental health. And finally, um, it's going to help uh, make me a better person. So let's put make me a better person. Great. So now we're going to get to the body of the habit tracker. And for habit tracking, one of the best databases for this would be a calendar. So let's go ahead and make a calendar by pressing slash calendar. 
and add it as a new database. Let's title it My Habit Tracker. And in general, we like to hide the database names because it looks cleaner and more minimalistic. So we're going to hide it by going to the three dots here and then going to layout and then turning off show database title. Great. Now we're going to make what's going to happen inside the habit tracker. So for that, let's go ahead and make a new template for the habit tracker by clicking plus new template here. And let's call it habit tracker entry. And you can retitle this whenever you use the template, but this is just a good way to have a template. And let's add an icon. So icons inside calendar views, some of the ones that look nice, for example, is this map pin. So we're going to go ahead and use the map pin. And then we don't need tags, so we're going to delete the property. Of course, we need the date. And then next, we're going to add three checkboxes, each corresponding to the habit that we just chose. So let's make a checkbox. So type checkbox. And then let's put the first habit, which was run 30 minutes. And then, so we can avoid uh, having to click this many times. We can just click here and then duplicate the property. And duplicate the property again. And then let's rename it. So the second habit was to meditate five minutes a day. Five minutes. And the other one was no screen time before bed. Great. So now you have three checkboxes to check off every time uh, you go in for the daily check-in for your habit tracker. Another nice thing to add is a reflection. So if you like to journal about every experience, um, this is a great way to add some extra context to your daily habit tracking. So let's add a habit tracker journal here by typing in a title. So journal. And then we can change this to heading three. And then we like to add a divider underneath headings by typing slash divider. And then we can put add journal entry here. And it looks nice when you put the color to gray. And same as the others, it's better if you click small text for width for every page. And that's it. So now when you go here, you should be able to set this as a default template. So you can just set it as set as default. And basically for all views in my habit tracker. And you can even, this is an advanced tip, um, actually add a repeating uh, templates. So if you wanted to set it to repeat every day, that's also possible. But uh, for this tutorial, we will go into that. So now when you click a day, you should get a habit tracker entry. But just by itself, you're not going to see any checkboxes or anything. So you have to go to the three dots here and then make sure to show the three habit properties. So now when you click on a day, all you have to do is click the habits you complete like this. And that's how you track your habits. Now, the next thing that's nice to have in a habit tracker is dedicated pages so you can see uh, each habit's progress. So for that, what you can do is simply click the plus button here. So now you get a new view of this habit tracker in table view. And for this, we can turn off database title again. And what we want to do is to start hiding the properties we don't want to see. So each habit is going to have its own tab. So let's uh, turn off uh, meditate five minutes and no screen time. So now we only see run 30 minutes. Then we want to group this uh, by month. So 
we can group by date and then we are going to date by and month so now you only see September grouped so this is how you can see it in a monthly view and let's hide ones that don't have any date and the other thing is to, nice to have is uh, your sorting so if you want the oldest first or the newest first so in this case I think oldest first is okay and then we want to calculate this um, based on the percentage that's checked. So percent checked, you can click here. So now it's zero percent because you haven't checked off your um, your habit. So now let's change the name of the uh, the tab by clicking here, rename, and this is the tab for run thirty minutes. So now you have one tab for run thirty minutes. So now we have two more habits. So let's duplicate this two times. And then this one is going to be the meditate five minutes. And now we only see run 30 minutes. So you're going to have to go to the three dots and then change the properties you can see. And we have to click the calculate button here so we can see the percentage checked. Now we do the same for the last habit. Great, now all of these should be working properly. So we're gonna go back to calendar view and just make sure. So let's add two more entries here. And then we can see here that if we checked all of them, we would get 100%. So this is a great way to check um, how many habits uh, you were able to complete per month in your percentage. So just like this, it doesn't look that great. So now the next thing we want to do is to make uh, two columns. So type slash column, and he, that way you can make different column sizes. So in this case, two columns. Then let's highlight these two boxes and put them in the first column. And then let's put the whole calendar in the other side. Great. Now you can move the column location by dragging this over here. And then let's add a mood photo so that we can add a little bit of uh, a nicer experience. So click um, slash and then image. So here you can choose a GIF for example. So let's go for a GIF and then look for something with some motivation. And this uh, penguin looks cute, so we can add a penguin there. And maybe we can move it to the top. Move it a little bit so it looks nice. And that's it. That's all you need to do to make a habit tracker on Notion. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or comments or anything that you found confusing. And we hope to see you in the next one.